Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get uh, Seluna's uh, Spear of Night and this is uh, by many uh, considered the best legendary weapon in the game so if your eyes uh, fancy this weapon you want to get it in this guide I'm going to show you how you can get it same as before I'll need every advantage it seems thank you uh, this is the weapon by the way if you're interested to see some of its stats and all right let's begin all right, so we first need to get to the Green Forge uh, in the Underdark. Now, the way to get to the Underdark, that if raise one of them, uh, is uh, through the Goblin Camp. All right, you go to the Goblin Camp, and you enter uh, the Sanctum here. All right, I'm just going to show you the pathing. So we are in the Goblin Camp. Seems simple enough. All right, so. Keep in mind, gonna be enemies, of course, here for you and stuff to do. Uh, we won't get into it. Uh, basically, we need to go here. I'm just showing the pathing. Path See on the map where we are going. Let me go here. Alright, again, it will be challenges and stuff. There is a puzzle here. I can check my uh, moon, uh, I think moon puzzle. I have to do it, but basically, this is the orientation where the dots need to be. A door will be open. And we need to get inside. So that's the puzzle you need to solve. If you don't know how to do this, check my channel for the moon puzzle. I'm gonna go down here. Basically, we reach uh, a Solonite outpost. Basically, this is the other Underdark. All right, so we are here. Now in the other dark, uh, we need to uh, reach the under under dark beach. Uh, they're going to be an NPC. You need to talk there, and eventually it's going to be a boat here. Uh, after you talk to him and uh, tell him that uh, uh, you want to reach with his boots, eventually give you access to the boat. And once you take the boat, you're gonna reach uh, the Arkin Tower. All right, so from here you're gonna reach here. All right, so let me show you. Just gonna go there. Again, you need to pass through it yourself. But basically, it's gonna be the NPC. This one, Gak. Uh, and it, I, the, the ship is not here because again, I already done it. But basically, you're gonna have a ship. You're gonna talk to this guy. You tell him about the boots, and then you're gonna sail. Uh, uh, to the underground uh, green forge. You see the ship leaves you there and this is the underground green forge. Now from here, of course there are many things to do. Again, I'm just showing you the general uh, pathing of the, uh, you know, what you need to do. And from here, we need to go straight to the, here, that's the boat. So again, after you finish doing lots of things here, uh, you're going to go here and you need to go to this elevator which will take you to the shadow shadow cursed lands all right and once you reach here yeah now already done it now keep in mind this area use the torch or your um dancing light can trip you know because again the shadows you're gonna get damage you see to the shadow cursed lands right so we need to uh venture through until we get to the last inn all right so we're gonna start here and just venture until again you can explore do everything but basically we need to go to last light inn uh once you reach there uh 
talk to them. Be friendly. Don't be aggressive. Don't attack. Uh, we need uh, Saluna's blessing. Uh, and basically, if you attack, you do something here, we're just going to ruin it. And basically, Jaira will take you to talk to Isabel, which is in the building uh, at the second floor. And that's where you need to go. When we talk to her, you get a blessing. She's going to be at the balcony there. Uh, it's going to be a start of fight. Uh, they want to uh, abduct her. And basically, you need to uh, protect her from those uh, from the invasion. So again, fight uh, the true soul Marcus, which is uh, the enemy there and all the other enemies. And once you get a blessing, basically, it allows you to further uh, venture uh, through the cursed lands. All right, next, again, uh, after you get the blessing, you can, we need to go uh, to, again, I already unlocked all the things here, but you need to go to the Grand Mausoleum, all right? So basically venturing through until you reach to the Grand Mausoleum. I'm just going to go here directly. Need to keep going. Oh, we go to the Mount Solom uh, entrance. Now here's going to be a puzzle for you. Uh, basically, you need to uh, be careful. There's going to be traps here. You need to click this one. Towers, grief. And then general, and then these doors will open, and you can actually get inside. And you're going to take this wall and traverse. All right, let's continue. So once you're inside, you're going to go uh, to this uh, room. Basically, it's a puzzle. Uh, if you need to turn. Uh, lower the lanterns, keep an eye on traps, and basically there's lever in each of the fourth room. You need to activate the lever, it's going to be those lanterns. Uh, you need to turn them off, all of them, including any light. So you're going to see this, then you need to crouch and just go uh, and activate this. Uh, we need to go then venture through. There are going to be different uh, trials here. Uh, this includes, uh, you know, all the different short trials, soft step, self-same, faith leap. And if you know how to do all of them, check my channel. Not complicated. Uh, and then we need to add on. See that I'm getting this correctly. So you can see it on the map. All the different trials. Uh, this is the self-same trial. Then we're going to go down. Basically one fall down. We need to get to the library. I just need to remember. This is the step trial. And this is the library. Yeah, this is the library. So in the library is going to be a fight here. Yeah, that's the library. Uh, so we're going to eliminate the enemies. Uh, then we need to book. So it's in here. It's trapped, by the way. Just keep an eye to disarm this one. And you need a book. And you need to take the book and place it here. So that's the book, Teaching of the Lost, uh, the Nightingale. And then it's going to open a passage. And you're going to go through this passage. And uh, you're going to get uh, Spear of Night. All right. It's not the legendary, but uh, Spear of Night. You can see there's going to be an armor here as well. So you get the Spear of Night. 
Now keep in mind when you do the trials, you're gonna get the orbs and uh, basically uh, we need them, you know, that you cross. When you get the orbs and you did the trials, gonna go back up. Remember, no wrong direction. Here we go, and we need to go here. I'm going to put the orbs, and we're going to traverse. Basically, again, you need to get uh, three or uh, orbs, and once you get them, by exploring and doing all the things, and basically uh, you have enough. There's also a place where you need to uh, fight an enemy there uh, in order to get the fourth. All right, so I won't go over all of it, but basically uh, continue venturing the area until you find all of the three, and then you need to get down. Uh, this is going to be an enemy, uh, Raphael's enemy, that you're either going to snitch uh, the orb from it's going to be near him or you just you know, eliminate him and get it. And then you're going to get to this place and you need to uh, get inside. Make sure you have Shadow Heart with you uh, doing it because you can do a prey here. Uh... And here uh, we're going to reach the Night Song Prison. And uh, this is going to show you the actual part. Uh, this is from the time that I actually did it. Okay. So she's going to pray when she's come. So make sure to uh, bring her to this uh, uh, quest, part of the party members. Then we're going to get to the Night Song uh, Prison. And again, you're going to see there got cutting specifically for Shadow Heart. Again, make sure you have uh, do it with her. I can feel her all around. Uh, next thing, just jump down. Uh, you don't need any protection or any flight or anything. Just jump down. Nothing will happen to you until you reach to the bottom. When we decided to attack him, I want to spare Night Song and not kill her. And this will, of course, trigger a battle against him. It's not an easy battle, so be prepared. You can think fighting even at the beginning, so it will save you. Uh, maybe it's going to be easier, I don't know, but uh, I fought him here. I mean, the moment you enter. All right, now we're going to interact with her, with Shadow Heart. A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. And this is probably one of the strongest cutscenes. There are many cutscenes related to Shadow Heart that are really, really strong in this game. That's why I really enjoy doing it in a second playthrough. And basically now we're going to convince uh, Shadow Heart not to attack her, to spare her life, not to kill her. Now there are different options here, but basically uh, you need to prevent her. This is probably the hardest one, but you need to prevent her from actually uh, attacking her.
I continue the dialogue, some really strong scenes here, I really love them. I'm gonna leave it to you to enjoy, I won't put it here, all of it, but it's a really, really powerful scene. And it shall be yours. But keep in mind, you're not getting the weapon just yet. Uh, you can continue, of course, uh, doing the dialogue and stuff, but basically you did the right thing in order to get to the path to until we're going to get the weapon. So let's continue. But keep in mind, you're going to get uh, this weapon, the Moonlight Glaive. But again, this is not the legendary. All right. Not yet. All right. The next thing we're going to do is to attack the... Moonrise Towers. Of course, there are many things to do. It's just keeping you on the right path, you know, to get a weapon. So we can continue exploring, get stronger and all this stuff. And basically, we need to attack uh, this part. So in Moonrise, uh, we need to go, uh, let's say that I'm going to show you here where the boss fight is. So if we go from here, again, I already eliminated everything. Uh, of course, you need to do uh, everything and you get inside. But basically, when you go, there are different ways to go from behind. But uh, in the place we need to go, there's also, by the way, on the, Uh, on the first floor is going to be also a Moonlight Lantern if you are searching for it to protect you against the strong shadows in Balthazar's room. But basically you need to go and and do a fight, a boss fight. Again, going to be enemies. All right, I'm just warning you ahead. They're going to be stuff, lots of stuff. I already cleared this so I can quickly go. Basically, when you go here and uh, open the door and you're going to fight the boss. And this is where you're going to fight uh, Catheric uh, Thorn. Uh, this is, there are several stages for this fight. I recommend you just uh, focusing on getting lots of damage to him. So you just move on to the next stage. Once we finish this fight, we need to get into this red area. Many players actually miss this. Uh, so at the same after the fight, you're just going to jump inside here. Don't go anywhere. Once you're inside, explore the area, fight and get everything you want. And uh, once you finish with this... Uh, there's also, by the way, this, uh, I don't know how it's called, I forgot, anyway, in the pool, when you do a perception, and if you're doing, a, uh, you know, different quests, uh, you can actually spare or kill Mizura here. Uh, once you venture in, you're going to get to the second stage of the fight, which actually has two stages as well. Uh, so, again, fight, you can actually save her, by the way, she will help you in the fight. Um, I did basically just went invisible with a wizard. And just went and rescued her, and then uh, you know it was make from that moment way easy. Basically, the goal, like in many boss fights, just focus on lots of damage on the boss. And uh, once you get uh, the, the, this one down, uh, you're gonna move to the next stage. There's gonna be another one uh, in the middle, in a big skeleton. So fight him and destroy him, get the loot and everything, and get out. Once you get out, there's gonna be some interactions between the different uh, NPCs. Then we're going to do a long rest, head to the camp, you're going to see a, a mark, exclamation mark, and interact, uh, let, um, you don't need actually Shadow Heart to interact, I actually interact with the main character, but, you know, it's going to be an interaction between them. It's going to be kind of a background story of Shadow Heart, which is really fun as well, I really love that as well. But after that, uh, you're going to get what you wanted a lot since you start watching this video, and this is the weapon, the legendary weapon. And this is it. This is the moment where you get a Saluna Spear of Night weapon. And legendary weapon, you can check it out. And this is it. I'll be fun, this and useful. Of course, there are things you need to do in between. I'll show you the right pathing. So again, make sure to spend there when what needed and explore and do all the other things. Maybe you have some side quests that you need to uh, fulfill. But this is the pathing that I did uh, that allows me to eventually get 
uh, Selena Spear of Night Legend that we have a friend in Baldur's Gate 3. If you find this one useful, give a like. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. If you think that I missed something important as well, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next guy. Thanks for watching.